हेलो गाइस वेलकम बैक टुडे वी हैव दिस क्वेश्चन कॉल्ड विगल सब्सिक्वेंस नाउ फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट्स टेक अ लुक एट व्हाट द क्वेश्चन मींस बाय द वर्ड विगल नाउ लेट्स से वी आर गिवन अ सीक्वेंस ऑफ नंबर्स लाइक नाइन एट टेन टू फोर जीरो फाइव एंड वन नाउ द क्वेश्चन कॉल्स सच अ सीक्वेंस ऑफ नंबर्स अ विगल सीक्वेंस now this is because the first number is greater than the number to its right the second number is smaller than the number to its right the third number is again greater than the number to its right the fourth number is smaller the fifth is greater and so on so basically the signs alternate and you must have noticed the pattern that it forms a zigzag pattern and the first number need not always be greater than the second number we can have the sequence beginning with a smaller number as well even this is a valid wiggle sequence now let's come to the question now the question gives us an array of numbers and asks us to find the length of the longest subsequence in that array which is a wiggle so we need to find the length of the longest wiggle subsequence in the given array now this is pretty similar to the problem of finding the longest increasing subsequence in the given array and this is the this is to find the longest wiggle subsequence in this array so we know that we have a classic solution to this problem using the dynamic programming paradigm and we can use a similar approach to solve this problem as well and the run time for this this would be order of n square and a similar complexity would be valid for this approach as well now the only difference between the lis problem and the iws problem is that the sequence is always increasing in the first case and here the sequence alternates between increasing and decreasing so we now we solve the longest increasing problem by keeping track of the length of the length of the longest increasing subsequence at every index i and we calculate this using the previous we using the values of the uh, values of the longest increasing subsequence at the previous indices so basically the length of the longest increasing subsequence ending at the index i is the maximum of all the previous all the longest increasing subsequence at the previous indices plus 1 for all j less than i and a of j less than a of i because the sequence always needs to be increasing so a of i should be greater than a of j if the if a denotes the array now in this problem the only change that we need to take care is that the sequence should not consist of two steps which are both increasing so if we just modify this to max of decreasing of j plus 1 for all j less than i and a of j less than a of i so this would this would cal give us the length of the longest sub longest wiggle subsequence that is currently increasing at the ith index and similarly we can calculate the length of the longest wiggle subsequence which is currently decreasing by simply interchanging this plus 1 for all the previous indices and this time the sequence should be decreasing that is a of i should be smaller than the previous element now so you can see that this is pretty much similar to the length uh, to the problem of finding the lis so if i hope you understood this and if you didn't don't worry we will discuss a much more easier to visualize approach and with also a better time complexity than this so let's say we are given some array 2 3 4 6 1 0 Let's say four, five, then nine, six, eight, three, 
seven four. Let this be some random array, and we need to find the LWS for this array. Now we need to develop. Uh, we need to extract a zigzag pattern out of this array. So let us just try to visualize this array in the form of a zigzag pattern itself. So let's just plot the numbers in the given array, like a graph or something. So the first point is a two. Then the three would be somewhere here. Then we have four. Then we have six. Now the next point is one and zero. So the next we have a four, and the six should be a little higher. And we have a five here. Then we have nine and six, eight, and a. Three, seven, and four. So this is our array plotted in the form of a graph. Let's just connect it for better understanding of the problem. So this is our graph in the form of an array, and let's begin from the left hand side. Now we have uh, four numbers which form a strictly increasing sub, which form a strictly increasing subarray. Now we can choose a maximum of two elements from the first four numbers, because if we choose two numbers, let's say two and four. Now two is less than four, and this is a valid Wiggle sequence. We cannot choose more than two numbers because if we choose more than two numbers, then the Sequence would become strictly increasing, but we want or want the sequence to alternate between increasing and decreasing. So we can choose a maximum of two numbers from the first four numbers, and we will choose two numbers. So let's say because we want to maximize it, so we will do we will choose both two numbers. So let's say the first number is p1 and the second number is p2. Now the third number has to be from this decreasing part of the array. Like we can choose the third number from this decreasing part of the array because These numbers would be less than six if we choose six because see we need to maximize the length of this array so we would try to choose the largest number for an increasing part of the array and the smallest number for a decreasing part of the array. Now let's say we choose a p3 from these two points that is one or zero. Now if we choose one, then the probability of finding a a p4 from this slope. would be less than the probability of finding a p4 if we had chosen 0 because there are more numbers greater than 0 than there are numbers greater than 1 so because we would want to have more choices we would the better choice would be 0 so we would choose p3 to be 0 now from this slope we have chosen a number that is p3 now again from this increasing part of the array we would like to choose the maximum number because if we choose the maximum number that is 9 There is more chances of getting a number in the decreasing part of the array that is smaller than nine. Now, see if we choose four, then we cannot select a number from the decreasing part of the array because six itself is greater than four. So, but if we choose nine, then six would be a valid choice. So, our the the best choice for p four would be nine. So, we cover this increasing part by choosing nine. Now, the next decreasing part. we can choose p5 equal to 6 so we have chosen five points till now now the next point should be from this increasing sequence there is only one number so our number is going to be 8 now in the next decreasing sequence we have another number that is going to be p7 then we have p8 and then we have p9 so the length of the longest wiggle sequence would be 9 because we chose nine numbers so basically what we need to find is we need to just just count the number of peaks that are present in the given array and that would give us the answer so this can be achieved in one scan of the array and so this would be a linear solution and it is a a better solution than the dynamic programming solution that we previously saw so 
the code for this solution would be available in the description below i hope you enjoyed this video and understood it and you can subscribe to our channel if you like this video and thank you for watching